What is good, fight fans? This is Ash's Corner. And Terrence Crawford showed us some footage of him hitting the snack bag with full snack uniform, shirt and bottoms. He had on the whole Bane mask hitting the bag doing his thing. Um, I thought immediately when I seen this that he just started this after the Earl's fight because that's when he showed this footage is right after the Earl fight. But he was in snack when he start right before he started the Sean Porter fight. So I'm like, okay, so he just showed us that he's with snack right after Earl Spence, right after Earl Spence beat Ugas. He showed us he's with snack, but started snack for Sean P podcast Porter for that fight. And Sean Porter had two camps and a half to prepare for Earl Spence. But Bud started Snack to train for Sean. Like, and EJ, EJ had went through a whole fat camp for Showtime Sean Porter. And honestly, for the way Sean Porter's approaching Bud in this picture, you deserve to get dropped. What type of shit is that? That's why you're a podcast Porter. When he fought Bud. And you could tell, um, well, by the next picture, you'll be able to tell that Bud was wearing snack on his trunks when he fought Sean Porter. So I remember Sean saying he needed the upper hand. Now he needed, he thought it was needed to have two camps and some change for Earl Spence. He thought it was needed to win. I'm just, I just had to look at it. Bud thought snack was needed to win versus Sean Porter. Like, <laughs> It's, it's evident to me like that's out of his whole career out of all the years out of 13 years of pro fighting in different weight classes he had he bud thought he needed snack and he probably did to beat paul Casporter. i mean it's just that all the evidence is there all of it is just smiling people in the face they just don't want to admit the shit but um I understand people um, might go to snack for pieces of the program, but I don't think that's really how it works. Like, you know, you ever had somebody that stands by their brand and by their whole program, and this is this is a big deal, you know what I mean? You, if you're just going to partake in the workouts and don't take any of what this man is pushing, I mean, if we got to be honest, what a pusher is, the plug is the person that's selling something. He's selling the capsules, okay, the supplements, the pills, that's what he's pushing, Victor Conti. So say you go and you do his whole, you do partial of the program, you don't take no sub supplements, but you do the workouts and you underperform and then talk greasy about snack. I just don't think that's how it works. I think he is, you think Bud ain't taking an expedite? I think he is, okay? I think he is, for real. Like, he not doing the program half-ass. Bud seen EJ, and now has to be snack strong. Like they <laughs> like they say when they hold up them damn supplements, okay? He has to be st snack strong. And to do that, you have to take them capsules, okay? Bud need to pop those uppers, downers, stunners, and maintainers out this bitch. <laughs> etc all of the above to be the best that he can be versus big fish earl spence that's what i believe okay he taking the expedite and what happened to bomac what's wrong with him why you have to go to snack anyway well how come bomac can't keep working him out like he's been since he's been fighting at 135 140 now you have 147 He's supposed to be such this great power puncher and all of this. He's that boy good, you know? And he's knocking out everybody, but now he needs snack for podcast Porter? And then after he, I mean, come on now. It's like, y'all can't give, y'all can't say a bunch of stuff about a fighter and then never give him credit once he proves you wrong. Just like Ugas, people was saying Ugas was going to beat Earl, and then after Earl made him look like that, he, people saying that Ugas was a C-class fighter. If that's the if that's the case, 
then something's wrong with your boxing eye or you need to give it up for the person that you were under underestimating the whole time which is earl spence and then now y'all are talking about the man is cheating like he punched too hard okay so victor conti is the person that's mad because his supplements and his workout program isn't doing the job i suppose for somebody to be so upset i'm telling you if you're not taking them capsules he's spiking your drinks i'm not trying to hear none of that okay he is making sure if you if you're going to be rocking his stuff you better be getting the knockouts and all of that other stuff i've seen that they was they was tweeting mission accomplished when he stopped um sean porter for his first fight on snack this would be his second fight on snack so let's see but y'all gonna have to stop all of this bs for real by terence crawford's own actions as of date Earl Spence is a problem, and he knows it. Big fish. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.